Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people. Like every DLC for GTA Online, Arena War included several vehicles that were downloaded with the update, but have not yet been released for purchase in the game. You're looking at those unreleased vehicles right now. I'm going to show you the customization options available for these vehicles, then take you on a quick test drive of each one. To kick things off, we have the Vapid Click. As you'll see in just a moment, this car has a rather unique livery timed to the Christmas holiday, and it's rumored that GTA Online players will receive this car for free during Rockstar's Holiday 2018 celebration. When it isn't being offered as a gift, this car will normally cost 909,000 GTA dollars. By the way, thanks to Foxy Snaps for posting all of the prices of the unreleased vehicles on Twitter. The Click is a great old coupe, and like all of the vehicles that we're going to look at, today, it features quite a few customization options. Whether it's free or, hey, nearly a million bucks, the looks and sounds of this car means that it's going to find a place in my GTA Online car collection. Up next, we have the Declassy Tulip, which will sell for 718,000 GTA dollars. I want to pause here for just a moment and say another big thank you to all of the people who have worked hard to create the Project Homecoming 5M server. The mods that I usually use in story mode were not working when I went to record this video, but these cars were already available on the Project Homecoming server. I'll talk more about that 5M server in just a minute, but first I want to say a few words about the Tulip. You wouldn't be too far off base in thinking that this is a sedan version of the stallion. They look, sound, and drive quite a bit alike. But you know what? It's not that often that we get a chance at putting more than one frame into a muscle car, so I'm not going to ask too many questions and I'll just take it.
The muscle car trend continues with the Declassi Vamos, which will cost 596,000 GTA dollars. If you know the history of the name of the real world car that this is based on, then you'll see that Rockstar's sense of humor in car names remains strong. I really dig the Vamos, though I'm not certain how it'll actually perform in game. You might have noticed that the two previous cars that we've already looked at weren't pulling wheelies out of the parking lot of LSC. My guess is that the Project Homecoming server has not yet added that cool little trick. Something that they do usually add, however, is different performance for nearly every vehicle that's available. I mean, they are a racing community, and so they have tuned the cars to bring about a better balance in the vehicle classes. So keep that in mind as you're watching this video. The performance that you see here most likely will not match exactly what will wind up with in the vanilla version of GTA Online. The fourth classic car in the lineup is the Shyster Deviant, one of my favorites from this DLC, and it'll cost 512,000 GTA dollars when it's released. You know, it's not too often that we see a muscle car that isn't a Vapid or a Classy, so I was rather excited to see what this had to offer. I really dig the design of this car, and those design elements are complemented by a whole host of visual modification options. Honestly, I spent like nearly an hour redesigning this car over and over, and I just had to finally stop myself and move on recording footage so I could get this video wrapped up. Oh, and you know what? Before I forget to mention it, I'm very sorry for the excessive exhaust gas that we see as we move throughout the menus. I usually hold down the throttle a little bit when I feature new vehicles, but there was not a way to keep the throttle down and make selections in the menu at the same time. The car just would drive away. I'll be sure to get good shots of the exhaust options once each of these vehicles make their appearance in GTA Online.
I wanted to take a quick look at the RC Bandito. This toy car will set you back more than any of the other vehicles that we've already looked at so far, carrying a price tag of $1,590,000 GTA dollars. Now, I'm not going to do a full test drive of this one because you've probably already had your hands on it in the various Arena War game modes. But I did want to show you the different body style variants and the liveries available for one of those variants. And once you've seen them all, be sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the price of this toy car. We move back up not only in size, but also in price with the Gratia Tally GTO, another one of my favorites. It will set you back 1965000 GTA dollars. You know what though, Gratia could put their logo on an overpriced hat or a keychain and I'd buy it, or even on some soap or a bath mat. It, it, anyway, we have made the switch into modern vehicles and some of you may have a lingering question by now. Where are the Arena War versions of all these vehicles? Well, you know what? That is a good question, and I wish I had something to show you. But with my usual story mode mods not working properly, I was kind of stuck. I didn't find any of the Arena War versions on the server that I was using, so I couldn't get footage of those. As soon as I'm able, I'll bring you a follow-up video featuring all of the battle-ready versions of all of these cars. Until then, we can at least enjoy the attention to detail that these offer in their street legal versions. Selling for $1,300,000 GTA dollars, the Benefactor Schlagen GT is another great addition from the Arena War DLC. Honestly, I have to hand it to the developers and the artists at Rockstar. All of these vehicles have really great attention to detail, and the Schlagen GT is no exception. Sure, I'm not really thrilled with Rockstar's accountants and what they've done with the excessive monetization of this DLC, but that's topic for a different video. I'll rant and rave at a later time, but for now, I'm simply happy to see so much effort put into a solid lineup of great cars. Of course, that's not to say that my presentation of them today hasn't been without a few issues. Anytime you mod a game, weird things are going to happen. So you may have noticed some weird skipping frames here or there, or a hood or a roof that didn't quite line up properly. But don't worry, nothing 
nothing's broken. It's still early days with the unreleased vehicles, and they'll all work just fine once they're released in the GTA Online. Just in time to compete with Forza Horizon 4, Rockstar has their version of a Lamborghini SUV with the Pegasi Toros, and that's going to set you back only 498,000 GTA dollars. All things considered, that's not a bad price. I mean, you could buy three of this full-size super SUV for the same price of one remote control truck. Now, I want to once again remind you that the performance that you're going to see in this video does not reflect what we're going to see once this SUV is available in-game. If anyone from Project Homecoming winds up watching this video, maybe they can leave a comment and give us some insight. But even if they don't, I am eternally grateful that this SUV was tuned to give such a wild ride. Like seriously, keep your eye on the speedometer over there in the lower left corner as we go on the test drive. By the way, as we saw on an earlier vehicle, for some reason I couldn't go into first person of the Toros. I don't really know why, but that's why you see some different perspective on a couple of these cars.
And finally, we have the... Uh, um, oh man, I am gonna butcher this name. For 1,795,000, this upcoming supercar is the Principe de Vest 8. Okay, I need to at least pronounce one word in that sentence. 8. That's a number I know well. And what can I say about this car? Just like the real world car it's based on, nothing about this is subtle. Even with a really dark paint scheme, this thing shouts its presence everywhere. It's a mixture of flowing curves and fast lines and an exhaust so large that I think you could probably smuggle people into another country in there. Seriously, just look at this thing. You're gonna have a hell of a time deciding on customization options because this car just does not want to be tamed. And that's all of the unreleased vehicles from the Arena War DLC for GTA Online. I'll be bringing you more coverage of each of these cars once I can access the new Arena War versions, plus through my weekly Rockstar News videos when each car is released for purchase in-game. Keep an eye out on my channel for even more great content from Arena War, and don't forget to follow me over on Twitch so that you can check all of the Arena War livestream madness. Until then, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.